What you guys, today we're going to be taking a look at how to get that Windows XP look inside Windows 11. So if you was a big fan of the taskbar in Windows XP and the start menu, then I'll show you how you can basically make it look like that inside Windows 11. Now, Windows 11 is obviously a new operating system. So that means we're going to need some software to make changes to our start menu. Now, there used to be a program called Classic Shell, which uh, never got updated anymore. So it's now called Open Shell. We're going to need that. So I download Open Shell to my computer so we can use this on this system. We're also going to need uh, RetroBar. Now, RetroBar is a really cool little program which you can use to bring back that retro feel to your computer. And this is also free as well. So both of these programs are free to download. I'm going to go ahead and get these downloaded on our system so we can get them installed. Now the creator of this retro bar or one of the coders on here is pretty well known. So we'll go ahead and get this uh, downloaded and get it installed on the system. So let's go over to the download section here. I'll leave the links in the video description for you so you can just download them. We need to get the latest version. So I'm going to hit the download here and download here. Now, if you want to look inside the actual file, because it's open source, you can check the source code of here to make sure everything is OK. You can upload it to VirusTotal and check it if you wish. They are safe to use. So also we're going to need to download the classic shell or open shell as it's now known. So let's go ahead and download open shell. Uh, it's only a small file, so we'll download this one here as well. So that's both of those downloaded. You can check the source code on these as well because it is open source. So if you want to check for malicious code, you can do, but they are safe to use. So I've got these in a folder called XP, and we're going to extract the retro bar into a folder so we can then uh, take a look at it and install it. So let's go ahead and extract it. Just open up the archive here and I'll probably just drag this into that folder. So let's go ahead and do this. It's a little small file here, as you can see. Okay, let's see retro bar put into a folder. And now we can install a retro bar by just clicking on it. So if you see this error code here, it means you need to install the .NET Core uh, framework on your system. So to do that, you can click yes it will take you to this web page here, which is download.net core 3.1 runtime. So we're looking for the run desktop apps, 64 bit, hit the 64 bit version, and this will then download it on your computer. You can then go ahead and install that on your system. Again, this is from Microsoft, so it's safe to install, and it needs this to run the program. So let's go ahead and get this installed on here. There you go. Let's take a bit of time. So say yes here to the user account control and let that install on our computer. Now, of course, once this is installed, we will be able to then use uh, the retro bar. So let's close off uh, that installation. Now it's done. Go back into our folder and click on retro bar. And this should then work and install on our system. Let's go ahead and drop this down into the lower taskbar here. And there you go. We can now see we have retro bar installed nice cool looking old school retro uh, bar here as you can see from the old days and there's some different variations that you can uh, enable on here and we'll take a quick look at those in a second but you've got the right click and the task manager here so it opens up task manager on the right click uh, taskbar here which has been removed in windows 11 but if we look at the taskbar options here you can see we do have some options available, not too many, but enough to get started here. Automatically start on log on. So basically when we boot our system up, uh, the retro bar will automatically load up. And we also have uh, some other options here, which is the collapse notification area icons. Now, if I click on this, you'll see it just basically collapses this area here, just like it used to. So if you want that feature on, you can do that. Also allow font smoothing. If I click on this, you can see how much it smooths up the fonts here. Makes them look a bit more sharper. Also inside here, we've got the uh, the drop down arrow, which we can look at. And you can see here, 
watercolor, uh, Windows 2000, Windows 95 and 98. And then we've got Windows ME. And we've also got on here as well, Windows XP Blue, which I'm going to go with here. So let's go for the Windows XP Blue and click OK. And this is now the look we get. Now we still need to change the start menu because obviously the start menu is Windows 11. So we need to make changes to the start menu still. So we're going to go ahead and uh, do that right now. Now, yesterday I installed Start 11, which was a free trial, which is this one here. And of course you have to pay for this. So I'm going to need to uninstall this and go back to the default Windows 11 start menu. And then we can install the OpenShell, which is a free alternative uh, with the retro bar, which we've got installed on here as well. So let's go ahead and click control panel here and go to uninstall the program. And I'm going to uninstall the start 11, which I showed you yesterday. So I'm going to remove settings here and click next and uninstall the actual application from the system. So we can then go ahead and install OpenShell on here. So that should all now be done. We may need to restart the system or Explorer. So let's just go ahead. It says a restart is an eight. We need to do a restart. So let's go ahead and quickly do that. And then we can continue installing OpenShell on the system. Now, one thing I want to point out with these applications is you may get a notification telling you they are unsafe and you may need to make that decision yourself whether you want to use these on your computer. They are completely safe, of course. It's just that they are unknown applications or unknown publishers. And these will normally get flagged by Windows 11 smart screen. And uh, you would then have to make that decision whether you want to use them or not. So let's go ahead and open up the open shell and as I've said you'll see the message in a second when we click next and agree to terms conditions here click next again and we'll just go through the installation process here this is the one here this one's for user account control you can see allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device this is what this yellow message is here now sometimes you get the uh, the uh, smart screen, blue screen coming up there, which will tell you it's an unknown uh, application. But it's safe to use. You can check it and upload it to uh, VirusTotal if you wish. Anyway, now we've got the program installed. We can go to the center one here, which is classic with the two columns. And that should give us that classic with two column look. I'm leaving the button as is. And uh, what we want to do here is we're going to go up to the top here. You've got some basic settings which you can mess around with if you wish to change some of these settings. You can read these at your own leisure and go ahead and make some changes here. If not, you can leave those well alone. We've also got the skin here, which you can also make changes to as well. Inside uh, this area here, if we look at the central area, inside skin, or you can click on this one at the bottom here, which takes you back in here. You can now use the skin drop down arrow and choose another option. So for instance, we're going to be going for the Windows XP Luna here, but there is other options available. Once you click on Windows XP Luna, and then we look at the bottom left hand corner here, let me quickly just show you here. It should change this just like so here. And now we've got that Windows XP feel to it. Now you can see we've got some text down here. And if you don't like having the text there, you can actually take out the no icons in the second column. And this will basically put icons here like so, which looks a bit nicer. So entirely how you want to set yours up, but it does look pretty good. As you can see here, we can now make some other changes to it. Now you can see it's floating up in the air a little bit there. And that's because the way Windows 11 has got its... Uh, taskbar but you can fix that a little bit with a registry tweak which i've showed you before how to change the height of the uh, taskbar here so i'll quickly show that again so you can see basically how that works in this video so you can bring that uh, floating uh, start menu down a little bit so you need to open up the registry editor here and say yes here 
And once we're there, what we need to do is navigate to HKEY Current User Software. And then we want to go to Microsoft. Come down a little bit further down here and go to Windows. And then we want to look for the current version. And then we're going to come down again right where it says Explorer. Click on Explorer and then Advanced. Inside here, we want to right click on the blank space on the right hand side here so we can create a new D Word 32 bit value. In there, we're going to call this Taskbar and then capital S I. Just like so, double click on this and we can leave this as the value data here as zero and click OK. And once we've done that, we can close this off. And we can restart Explorer here. So right click, go to Task Manager on the taskbar here and restart the Windows Explorer. So I'm going to right click and restart and she's now restarted. And when we go back in here now and click on the start button, you should see it's dropped down right away down to the bottom there. So that looks somewhat better. Now, all that's left to do now is to change the wallpaper to the default Windows XP wallpaper, you can right click and basically change that wallpaper to Windows XP like so. Now, of course, it is still Windows 11 in the background. You're just changing the overall look of it to make it look and feel a little bit like Windows XP, but really it's still Windows 11. But everything functions just fine. As you can see here, we've got a bit of uh, open shell influence here along here but everything opens up okay and we've also still using the retro bar which has given us that nice uh, retro windows xp taskbar but when you click on settings you can see here it's giving you the windows 11 uh, settings pane here which is okay because it is windows 11 at the end of the day but a good thing about it is it just gives you that windows xp feel i'm not sure if a lot of people is going to be doing this to their computer but the option is there if you want to do it. So when you click on this PC, you can see it is Windows 11 and there's not much change here. So that's basically it in a nutshell, how you can. So that's basically how you can get Windows 11 to look like Windows XP. Now, of course, you can download icons and other things like that and change more on Windows 11. But I wouldn't advise to go too crazy with it. Because at the end of the day, it is what it is. It's still Windows 11. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. Thanks again. I really do appreciate that support. Bye for now.